Salt Lake City to try to talk to Mr. Stump. And I lift my arms three times in Salt Lake City and he ignored me. He's also a person that is against black, Latino, and anybody that is not white. I'm going to court next next Monday and he's, his lawyers are trying to evict me. He really gave us a bad loan. I mean, I'm not only talking about him, I'm talking about all the banks that are doing it. Not only Wells Fargo, but Wells Fargo is the hardest one to work with. He made 22 and a half million dollars last year. Somebody said the jails are too big to fail. <laughs> but are they too big to be jailed? Yeah. We want John Stump to know that we got San Francisco's finest out here. We got them over there. They're here to come to break you out of your mansion and take you to jail. They're just waiting on us to give them the signal. We're holding them off. Stand fast, man. Not yet. He might want to repent and do the right thing. San Francisco's finest is tired of watching these zillionaires stomp on poor people. I spit on the sidewalk. I get a ticket. This guy spits on the people and he doesn't get anything. We called a police department out here, and they're here. We got them lined up. We got special security. We're going to drag him out there and put him in jail. My husband and I live in Diamond Heights. We have raised seven children there and lived there 40 years. Our house was up for auction. I tried for four years to get a modification with Bank of America. With the help of these wonderful people, we went to Bank of America as a group. Within 24 hours, they called us and cut my mortgage from 6.5 to 3.6. Wells Fargo can do it too. You're not going to go after Wells Fargo. And you have to ask yourself why. I'm talking about in San Francisco. The OCC, HUD, nobody will go after Wells Fargo. They won't even answer your letters about Wells Fargo. Guess what? Wells Fargo lives down the street and they work down the street. So I think we all need to look at why Wells Fargo is getting this preferential treatment in foreclosures. Thank God for the police. We're dragging you out of there, man. You're going to jail today. I've been a nurse at San Francisco General Hospital for 25 years. But I have one of those predatory loans. And at three times a year, my mortgage rate goes up. Now, this has been going on for the past three years. And now I am disabled and cannot do any overtime, but they can keep going up and up and up. So it then went from 1400 to 2300 I guess next, John Stumps and his crew will be coming to put me out, and I live in the Mission District, walking to work for 20-some years. Oh well, I guess I'll join the rest of the homeless people, but I sure in the hell don't want to. We come to where John Stump lives. The power that he has does not, does not overwhelm the power of the people. Let's get ready to get dirty! We have a, a, a Wells Fargo folk closer resistant, Brother Peter. Make some noise! Wells Fargo stole our house. I have a word that I want you to think about. Justice. Justice for all. Do we think that because we say those words that we get liberty and justice? No! We have to fight for justice. And that's what we're doing here. We're not asking for justice. We're not saying, please, sir, Mr. Banker. Please, John Stump. Please, Mr. $22.9 million a year man. We're saying, we demand justice. We, the people, demand justice. Interesting word, just us. Just us rich folks. Oh. Is that like U.S. us without the A on it? No A for Africans? 
No A to conclude all of us. My name is Tanya Dennis. Hi, Tanya. Hi. And Wells Fargo stole my home. It was sold on January 10th, 28 days before the auction date. Wells Fargo did this because I had them in court for discrimination, elder abuse, fraud, quiet title, robo signing, and they knew that possession is nine tenths of the law, so they decided to possess the house because they're in a long fight with me. African Americans are 6% of the population in California, but they got 55.3% of the predatory loans in California. It's deliberate. I am the black face of foreclosure. My parents were thriving. We would have been worth $2.5 million today if Wells Fargo had left us alone. But they decided that they were going to give us these predatory loans one to my mother, an 86-year-old woman with prime credit. They gave her an $800,000 loan and her income was fixed at $2,600 a month. If she were paying that note today, she would be paying almost three times what her fixed income was worth. It was deliberate, they set her up for failure, and they do this throughout our communities of color. I'm going to sit down and make myself comfortable because I'm going to be here a while. Since he stole my house, then I'm going to move into his. All right. Join me in. Make yourselves comfortable. Come right in. Sit right down. Make yourself at home. Come right in and sit right down and make yourself at home. Hey, come on in. Sit right down and make yourself at home. John Stump can't be here all alone. Come right in and sit right down and make yourself at home. John Stump can't be here all alone. Come on, Monica. Come right in and sit right down. John Stump can't be here all alone. <laughs> African Americans are tired of being profiled. We're being profiled to take our homes. John Stump, okay. Wells Fargo got sued for $172 million by the Justice Department and they won. John Stump, the city of Baltimore sued you for $7 million for discrimination against African Americans and Latinos and they won. John Stump, Shelby County in Georgia sued Wells Fargo for $414 million for discrimination and they won. John Stump, what do you have to say to that? You say you're fair? No foreclosures, no short sales. Put the bankers in jail. No foreclosures, no short sales. Put the bankers straight to jail. No foreclosures, no short sales. Take the bankers straight to jail. No foreclosures, no short sales. Take the bankers straight to jail. Wells Fargo, you can't hide. We can see your greedy side. Wells Fargo, you can't hide. We can see your greedy side. Wells Fargo, 